Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. Well, it finally happened. A lot of people ask me if I ever cut myself. Of course I do. Yesterday I cut myself pretty good in two places. Don't need stitches or anything like that. But these two fingers were really, really sore. So I decided to not do any work yesterday in glass just to give these fingers some time to heal. And when I can take the band-aids off is a better time to work, but I might try working with these clumsy band-aids on right now. Just wanted to let you know, I cut myself because I was cleaning up and I had, there was some glass underneath something that I didn't know was there and I cut myself in the glass. You just need to be careful all the time. Often I cut myself when I'm working. This time I was cutting or cleaning up when I cut myself, but I have a lot of other things I can do. I need to get, get ready for class and take down some Christmas things in my house. So I have plenty of things to keep me busy besides working on projects. I just might not have as many this week for you. For my mosaic project this week, I bought a number of these wooden cutouts of animals and they're not that big. So I am going to use these. I had these frames already. I'm not sure exactly where I purchased them, but I am going to be putting one single piece of glass which I've already pre-cut. And then after I bead this all up, I will be adhering it onto the glass so it's nice and clean. And I have a number of them all ready to go. I don't know how far I'll get. I think I'm gonna start with this owl. and I love the way it came out. Very sparkly. It catches your eye, I think, from a lot of different angles. But it did take much longer than I anticipated, mainly because I put each bead on individually, and that took so much longer than using strung beads and pulling them out. But I wanted to have that option of putting the colors in, the colors of beads that I wanted where I wanted them and not being stuck with whatever was on the string or having to string them myself and then put them on. Either way, it took quite a while, but I love how it turned out. And I think I really am going to love it when I finally put it on this very plain piece of glass. Just the contrast between the two is gonna be fabulous. And then to have all six of them done as a set, I almost can't wait. That's it. The next one I'm gonna work on is this bear. And before I do anything, I have to seal it. And I'm gonna seal it on the back when it's finished before I glue it onto the glass. Right now, I'm gonna just seal the front. And the reason I don't seal both right now is because I'm gonna sit it down without it sticking to my paper. It's that easy. I use 50-50 weld bond water mix on this. I'm going to glue this glass inside the frame and as you can see you can kind of see my hand behind the glass it's a little bit translucent so I'm going to use clear adhesive because I don't want that to show and I'm going to put it all over here both surfaces before I put it together.
What I really like about this is I, I have plenty of time to decide where and how I want to mount this on here. And uh, so I've tried a different a couple different ways. And I don't like to put things smack dab in the middle, but I, I might put the butterfly and the dragonfly smack in the middle. I think I'm going to put the green streaking going up and down. Put him right there.
it's right about here where I decide to remove some of these beads I've already put on the head and make it more of an area just around the eye and on the cheek to make it a little more defined and less mask-like. So I start prying off. I don't like to do that with epoxy sculpt because sometimes it can be messy. So I have to be very careful. Inside of the bunny's ears, I went to this pre-colored epoxy sculpt. This is the pink. It comes in a kit with these other colors. I'm not sure if you can buy it individually, but this is the one that I'll be using for the ears. about the projects that I did this week. So on my workbench, all I was able to do were four of these beaded little mosaics. And I'd got a lot of other things done outside of that. But I wanted to point out three things with these projects. Number one is it was a great project to do while my fingers were healing up because I didn't have to worry about cutting my fingers again. So that is something wonderful I liked about them. Aren't they sparkly and beautiful also? And then number two is that I was really trying to use a variety of bead sizes, colors, and shapes. And I think of all of them, probably the owl was the most successful with this just because it had the modeling and it had the feathers on the wings. So I think it probably worked best with that particular project. And then last of all, something that I forgot to mention and that I actually forgot to do on this owl is seal it. I like to seal bead projects with triple thick glaze. It's like an insurance policy that sort of holds all the beads in place and it doesn't affect how shiny and wonderful the beads are. The only problem is I'm out of the triple thick glaze, so I had to order some more and it is a little bit chilly for me to be spraying. It's something I have to spray outside. It doesn't 
it's too way too stinky and uh, toxic to do indoors. So I have my little bear, my little squirrel, and my little bunny that I'm going to, it's going to be much easier to spray these before I mount them on the glass. So that's what I'm planning on doing. The owl I'm going to have to tape off around and then I will be spraying that. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.